Live clipping events is crucial to capturing and directing attention for your business or organization. To start sharing moments as they happen, here are seven steps to get you started. Step number one, set your goals. What do you hope to achieve from live clipping your event? Is it views, followers, direct sales? Whatever it is, there's going to be stakeholders and team members involved, so you should think about how those people can help you achieve the goals that you set. Step number two, select tools. Live clipping an event will involve different software, so what video, social, and digital tools will you need? Consider features like AI captions, keyword alerts, and searchable transcripts to improve your efficiency. Step number three, create a press list. While you're live clipping, you're going to want to know who you should be sending clips to. Is it an editor for approval, a reporter, a creator? Who could amplify your clips? They're more likely to share them while the event is still happening. Step number four, monitor live. Your event is live and being broadcast. Use your clipping tools to monitor it live for any interesting moments. A general rule for spotting moments is if you notice something that was said or happened that keeps your attention, it will likely be a good clip. Step number five, set ins and outs. When you've identified a moment, you'll need to set the start and end of the clip. Some clipping tools allow you to do this simply by highlighting a sentence. In others, it's a video timeline that you press I and O on. Generally, shorter is better, and 30 seconds to two minutes is a good rule of thumb. Step number six, caption and thumbnail. No matter how good your clip is, it will only find success if it has a good caption and thumbnail. For clips that focus on something that was said, captioning with the most important part of the quote often works best. And thumbnails matter more on YouTube, but it's important to consider for all platforms. And finally, step number seven, post and engage. The key to live clipping is posting your clips as the event happens. Take advantage of clipping tools that have social integrations, allowing you to post the clip from the same tool as it's made. And remember, some clips will perform differently on different platforms. So it's important to experiment with posting in multiple places. In conclusion, live clipping your events can transform your business or organization's funnel entirely. Your teams have already put a ton of work into putting on this event. Make sure you get the most out of it by live clipping it.